This material comes from a morning service in 2002 by Reverend Dr. Albert Ghani. Being more in the now will give you the greatest present available, which is the presence of God. If you right now do not experience God, you will know. How do I know I'm not experiencing God? You would be in a state of grace if you were experiencing God. You would be in a state of ecstasy. If you don't experience that, it means you are escaping. That you are pulling the past and pushing the future. The present is only available to you. The present is the only path to happiness, the now. Now you're going to say, what, are you crazy? Don't you see what's happening right now in my life? Don't you see all the suffering that I'm going through? Don't you see all the stuff that I have to do? The truth is, no matter what is happening right now, if you were to truly experience the present the way it is right now, you would be in a state of grace. If you are not in a state of ecstasy, you are not living the present. You are escaping. Now the next question is, well, how do I stay in the present instead of escaping? It's certainly not by forcefully masking grace or ecstasy over what's going on right now. The way to be in the present is to fully experience your present state as it is. It is through fully experiencing your anxiety that you will find your task. Your task is on the other side. It is through fully experiencing fear, fully experiencing it and going through it that you will find love. It is through the full experience and therefore the acceptance of your willfulness that you will find goodwill. It is through the full experience of your conceit that you will find both humility and dignity. Why is that? Because if I fully experience my harmfulness or my darkness, if I fully taste it, I will no longer want to act it out. I will want to transform it. Being in the great presence, fully experiencing the beautiful aspects of my life will bring me to God and fully experiencing and going through the harmfulness will also bring me to the presence of God. The life force is a present reality. It flows now. It doesn't flow in the past. It doesn't flow in the future. It flows now. It only flows now. And so the way to be in the life force must be to be grounded in the present. God's generosity is here and now in this very moment, whichever moment you are experiencing. God's generosity will be here today at any moment of your life. God's generosity is in the great present. If you consider the saying, Om Mani Padme Um, which means I am the jewel in the lotus and in it I will remain. You can see that it talks about the great present. That's why it is so powerful. I am the jewel in the lotus, in the now, and in it I will remain. I will remain the jewel in the now when I am connected to God.